You're watching the Norfolk Southern Sherwood Subdivision. I'm Harold. Thanks for watching. Today, an operations video. This is the third of a three part series dealing with activities involving the transfer run that came to Sherwood from Charlotte, North Carolina. So, if you're interested in operations, please stay tuned. Otherwise, you may enjoy some of our how to videos or layout construction videos that can be found on our channel. But for now, let's get on with the operations video. In part one of this series, our local switcher assembled cars from various industries in Sherwood, and they were picked up in part two of this series by the transfer run coming from Charlotte. The transfer run left us cars to be deposited at the various Sherwood industries. They are this refrigerator car that goes to Richard's Hoods. These three cars here go to Martin Manufacturing, and the final car here goes to Chubb Industries. As with any sort of switching, we must first plan how it will be done. Here's the situation. We have one car to drop off at Chubb Industries, the building in the background. You can see in the background our transfer run is going back to Charlotte. We have two, no, correction, three cars to drop at Martin Manufacturing. And we also have one car to drop at Richard's Foods. You will see right away the situation that we are in. We have both facing point and trailing point moves that we have to make in order to do all this work. That immediately suggests that at some point, a runaround maneuver is going to be required in order to service both ends. And we'll see how that goes beginning now. With our local switcher in position, we will begin our activities to throw out these cars and put them in the right place. And you may notice in the background some improvements that have been made to our passenger station. We're trying to attract some Amtrak service in the future. Our plan is to deposit the last car, this car here, right here, place the rest of them on the long lead that goes to Richard's Foods, do the runaround maneuver, and we can go back and pick up all the cars in the back part of the yard without ever having to return to the front.
In the background, you may notice we've made some improvements to our town scene. Started painting it its appropriate color. You can see videos about how the town scene was moved. Excuse me. You can see videos about how the town scene was built on our channel. At this point, we'll disconnect the locomotive and perform our runaround maneuver. And our locomotive will connect up to the car where we did the runaround maneuver. We will give a brief stop to apply three-step protection. That's explaining the first of our three-part videos. Having completed that, we will join up with the rest of the cars. Here we go. Another pause for three-step protection. We'll get beyond the clearance point here and we'll move the boxcar into Chubb Industries where it belongs.
Our first drop off is complete. Having made our delivery to Chubb Industries, we will deliver the remaining cars to the other end of Sherwood, to Martin Manufacturing, and to Richards Foods. Three cars to drop off at uh, Mark Manufacturing. The first two go inside the building and the third goes on the spur that's adjacent to the building. The refrigerator car, of course, goes to Richard's Foods. We'll have to clear our spur for Martin Manufacturing and then back into Richard's Foods. That completes the work of our local switcher. We have now successfully dealt with the transfer run that came to us from Charlotte.
Everything's been put away, and it's time to close up shop for the evening. We hope you enjoyed this operations video, and there are more operations videos on our channel in a playlist. We thank you for watching Norfolk Southern Sherwood Subdivision. If you have comments or questions, please leave them below.